Hey, welcome to another uh, edition of SCA Kit Builder MNATS calibration thing. So this is exactly what MNATS tells you to do in his video. And I'm just going to show it exactly how I do it uh, so you can do it too. Like you said, the ratio is 20 to 1, set game reduction to plus 4. Uh, the release is all the way up to 7 or whatever it is. And the attack knob, just turn it off to the off position. So click it so it's off. And then for the output knob, it's hard to see in this in this video right now, but these are actually both all the way off. Uh, I'm gonna, and I have a, an input signal coming in, just like MNAT does in his video, uh, one kilohertz, uh, zero dB signal. It's, if you looked, at, if you put a voltmeter on it, it would be uh, 0.775 volts, uh, AC volts coming out of the signal generator. And it's just nice to have a zero dB signal going in. Makes it a little easier. Okay, for the next step I'm going to move the camera just for a second to show you inside the box what I do. Okay, so this is the one that you're going to adjust once you uh, calibrated the front of the meter with the input signal. Um, right now, I turn it fully, fully clockwise until I can't move it anymore. So you know it's it's loose and then oh, oh there it's tight. I want to stop right there when I get that tight clockwise. There's the back on this side. You can see there's the back, and this is the front, right? So if you have it oriented that way, because you can put it in either way, it'll still work. You just you just be turning the knob up differently from the way I do it. So anyway, so I set it fully clockwise. And if you put a voltmeter on this resistor, when it's fully clockwise, it will be about two ohms. It goes from two ohms to two thousand ohms. So anyway, that that's the way I start with this um, with this particular one. And that's one you're going to be changing once you get the input signal coming in. So as you can see I have leads hooked up to the input so that's feeding the signal in. Okay, So I'm going to go back here and we're going to watch what happens to the front panel as we do our adjustments. Like I said these are completely off right now so as I turn up the input watch the needle as I turn it up. So I'm just going to put the input up I'm going to drive that input pretty hard, so I'm going to put the input three quarters of the way up, okay? And then I'm going to turn the output up until that needle, watch that needle pop up there, you see that? All right, so basically the way I do it is I drive it hard on the way in on the input, right? So my input is, is right, right there. And if you listen close, yeah, you can hear that, that uh, output transformer ringing over there. It's, it's, ringing nice and hot. So I'm getting a good signal in there and I turn the uh, output up just enough to get that plus one on the meter. So when you see the meter moving up and down over here I'm going to zoom in on the meter and you can see this is only I'm only touching this one. I'm, uh, once I set this one to about here um, to about 12 uh, on the 12 on the dial which is right about there I'm not going to touch that one anymore. Okay, so now we're going to just show you the meter a little bit. Actually, the meter and this knob, the one I'm actually going to turn. So I'm going to turn this up until it gets to plus one. Okay. Oh, pretty close to plus one right there. So then I'm going back inside the box. I'm going to start turning R59, which is that same one that I turned fully clockwise and I'm going to start backing it counterclockwise away spinning it with my screwdriver and you'll see it, it's, it'll take a big jump it'll take a big dip and then I'll back it back up oh, there it goes and then I'm turning it clockwise back again until it just hits about zero
right about there. So there's calibration step number one.